guys. Okay, so I guess I say that every video. Somebody pointed it out. Okay, so anyways, I'm just going to continue to say because that's how I start my videos. So there. So there. Um, I know they weren't being mean about it. They were just saying that's how I start my videos. Should I start this video over again? No. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, I'm going to do a haul. And I know I have like a bunch of videos that I keep saying that I'm going to do, but the, this is just how it turns out because i got to put this stuff away and it drives me crazy when it's just sitting around. So um, I'm just going to do it. Okay, first off, I wanted to talk about something just before I start the haul. Um, this doesn't really have anything to do with the haul, but I just wanted to say something really quickly. Okay, um, remember that I switched from... Um, I switched from a BlackBerry to the iPhone, and um, I have to say, I, I'm an iPhone person now, I really, really like the iPhone, and I wanted to just say, when I said I was going to switch from the BlackBerry to the iPhone, the people that sent me the model mirror, they sent me, um, they're like, oh, we have these new um, iPhone covers, I think they have BlackBerry covers too, I don't know, but um, they sent me, oh, I didn't even grab the other one, I gotta grab the other one too. Okay, I'll get it in a second, but I just wanna show you. They sent me two iPhone covers. Um, well, remember I said that I got the iPhone 3? Um, but I ended up actually getting the iPhone 4 instead. So, this is the iPhone 4, but um, they sent me this case for it. I picked two, or I picked one and they sent me two. Because I couldn't pick which one I wanted. Um, and it's really cute, I really like it. And nobody else has it, which is really, really nice. So they sent me this one, and hold on, I'll grab the other one too. Um, this one is just so crazy. Like, look at this thing. It's like, whoa, bam, bedazzled. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cute. They're called, uh, I haven't used this one yet. I'm going to, though. Like, look at this. It's crazy. Like, imagine this on your phone. Wow. Um, they're called candy covers. So, fits iPhone 4G, but I know that they have ones that fits, fit the other ones, too. So, I'll put the link down there. And, um, they didn't pay me to say this or anything. I'm just... Just telling you guys, that was really nice of them to send them to me, and um, they're always really nice, so, yeah. Okay, the other thing that I need to seriously get out of my freaking way is these shoes. Okay, so, another thing. Um, you're probably going to think that, uh, that this company sent me these shoes or whatever, blah, blah, but it's not even true. What happened is this. Um, I was uh, trolling Perez Hilton because I like to scope up the celebrity gossip. Um, and there was a thing on the side or whatever, and uh, I was reading, I was reading about it, and I was like, oh, those shoes look really, really cute. So I clicked on it, and I was like, holy, there's lots of cute shoes on this site for really, really cheap. And then also there's tons of clothes and everything, too. But anyways, I ended up ordering four pairs of shoes. Three of them are exactly the same, one pair is different. But then, um, it ended up being like... Oh, I don't know where the bill is anymore. Anyways, it ended up being like 150 bucks or something like that, plus $22 flat rate for the shipping. But then, the reason that I don't like this website is because they totally got me with the customs because I'm in Canada. So on customs, when, I, when they got to the door, like the UPS guy got to the door, it cost me another $45. So I was like, oh, you bastards. Um, so yeah, but if I was in the States, I think it's like free shipping um, with like a $75 or more. And plus, you wouldn't have to pay customs, so it would be good for you guys. But for me, or for anybody in Canada, kind of suck. Although I gotta say, I got four pairs of shoes for under $200, so I guess it's kind of good. Anyways, yeah. Oh, the name of the website was like Lulu. A bra just fell on top of my computer. Um, Lulu's. Yeah, $31 each for the shoes, so it was $124 plus UPS ground flat rate was $22. Bucks, so the total was $146. But then, when the UPS guy got to my door, it cost me $44. So what if I didn't have like a credit card or something like that? I would have been screwed. They would have took my shoes away. Anyways, these are the shoes. I love them. These are them in gray. And what's nice about them too is you don't even have to get them taupe with these ones because they have like, um, like rubber on the bottom. So like you could run in them and you wouldn't fall. And these shoes are really in style. Like I know all the big designer houses make them and everything for a lot more. So you could just trash them and not even really worry about it. Like... They'll be out of style and you can be like, who cares? Done with it. So I bought them in that color. I bought them in black. And I also bought them in beige. And I bought them in uh, seven and a half because I like my shoes to just be like a little bit too big for me and they fit perfect. So I was majorly stoked. And as soon as I got them all, I sent Emily Clark a picture on my phone of me wearing every single one of them. <laughs> and then I also bought these ones too. 
I mean, it's sort of like any of those websites, like gojane.com or like, um, I don't know. I mean, they, they actually look like pretty good quality. They're not, they don't look bad. I don't know. I've never bought anything from this company before. I've never talked to anybody there. I hate that I feel like I have to say that. It's so annoying, but it's the truth, I swear. I swear. Look, a real receipt. Anyways, yeah. All right, so then also, okay, on a couple days ago it was 20 times the points at Shoppers, although I didn't go because I forgot. So I ended up going the next day, which doesn't help me, but whatever. Um, and I can't tell you, oh, oh, I want to tell you guys something so bad. Go to Shoppers. <laughs> There's something there that's really good, but I can't tell you what it is because um, I just can't. But go there. Go there. Um, Lancome. Anyways, okay, um, I got this from Lancome for myself, it's the Hypnos Drama Mascara. Um, usually it's like $34 anyways, but if you get this little package, it's like a Christmas package right now, and you just get the little um, eye makeup remover and an extra little black coal pencil, so it's a good deal if you if you like this mascara anyways. I suggest you might want to pick it up. Um, and then Gift With Purchase, which is great right now, Gift With Purchase. Um, same thing, a little... Uh, yeah, eye makeup remover. Um, you can try out the makeup base. Another black cool pencil, and I like the Lancome black cool pencils, they're nice. Um, the eye makeup base in Antique Nude, which I've never tried, but I will let you know how that works out. Um, um, a small mascara, which actually is pretty, pretty big. And it, this is the, um, Hypnos as well. And also a lipstick in Perfect Fig. I never really liked these lipstick colors, but to be truthfully honest with you, this is actually a fairly pretty color. Rubbed out, it looks like that. And this would be blended out if you blended this out, like if you put less on your hand and blended it out more. I'm just gonna show you guys. This would be a nice cheek stain as well. I don't know why more people don't talk about that, but I, I remember like way back in the day, um, I never talk about her because I hate her, but I remember like way, way, way back in the day when I was a kid, I know people are going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe you just said you hated your mom, but trust me, you have no idea. Anyways, um, my mom used to always put like lipstick on her cheeks, you know what I mean? And it's, I mean, basically, I swear to god, I think it's the same thing, like lipstick is like cheek stain for the most part, I know you can put lots of them up from your lips to your cheeks, but try that with your lipstick, your favorite lipstick colors, and um, it looks so nice when you have the same like lip color as cheek stain, so, yeah. And I'm not editing that part out. Stick into it. All right. Next up is I was watching um I was watching Lisa Eldridge's video on uh, her favorite makeup brushes. And for the most part, I stick to Mac makeup brushes. I don't know why. It's just I guess like when I was quite a bit younger, I just started collecting Mac makeup brushes, and um, I always stuck to that. I also own the whole collection of the Smashbox brushes, and I really like those as well. They are really great brushes. I really enjoy them. Um, but she was talking about uh, this brush company called Paul uh, Paul Dorf. Um, which I'd never heard of. So I searched about where I could find them in Vancouver, and there's a company called um, Beauty Mart, uh, which is in Yale Town. So um, she said that two of her favorite ones were the Smoky Lid Brush and the Sheer Crease Brush. So the Sheer Crease Brush is sort of somewhere in between the two, 224 from MAC and the 217, I would say. Looks like this. It's nice. I tried it out yesterday. I didn't use it today, but I tried it out yesterday, and I really liked it. It's um, it's a little bit more dense than the, the 224, but a little bit smaller as well. So that's exciting. Really excited to play around with this. Love, love new makeup brushes. And the Smoky Lid Brush, she kind of talked quite a bit about this and said that it doesn't look like much, but it's like a really amazing brush. But I haven't tried this one out yet, but this is what it looks like. 
And if you're in Vancouver and you are going to go and check out these brushes, make sure that you ask to see them because they have they don't have them out. I asked them, why don't you have them out? And they're like, oh, they get stolen and whatever, blah, blah. So you have to ask and actually have them like um, behind the counter, underneath the counters and stuff. So um, this is the Smoky Lid Brush from Paula Dwarf. Um, and the other one that I got was, um, I've been really, really into um, cheek stains lately. And... Um, so I, I picked up this one. She didn't mention it, but it's called the Cheek Cream, Cheek Cream Brush, um, and this is it. And I used it yesterday, and I've been putting on my foundation and then just putting on um, a cheek cream and leaving it on my face before I, or after, before I do my eye makeup, and then just doing my powder and everything after that, and just letting it soak in. And I really, really like the look of that. I just feel like it makes my um, um, makes my cheeks have like a really nice glow underneath, um, and it lasts all day long. So. So yeah, so I picked this up and I, I really like it. It blends in good. So, so yeah, I picked this one up. And I don't have a brush like this, so um, it's it's sort of I'm I'm guessing it's synthetic and it's just sort of like a foundation brush but on an angle. My voice sounds funny right now. Um, okay, then oh they also add Beauty Mart, which by the way is like a, such a great store in Vancouver. Has so much cool makeup companies like it has Paula Dwarf, Cargo, um, uh, Kevin Aquan. Um, what other companies do they have in there? Uh, well, I can't even think right now, but they have a lot of cool companies that you don't normally see. Um, a lot of the companies that they talk about, like a lot of the companies that the European gurus talk about and stuff that we don't necessarily have in North America, so it's really cool. Um, they gave me a free eye cream. Um, con I don't even know how to say that. Whatever. It's French or something. Uh, okay, then I went to MAC. Remember I told you guys that I wanted to pick up um, the Face and Body Foundation, and a lot of you guys said um, it's just called White Face and Body Foundation. And I tried it out. Totally works. Love it. I'm so happy. I have, like, all these foundations that I can use again now. So I'm super stoked about that. If you guys ha are having the same problem as me and you're wanting to, um, you're wanting to, uh, not tan so much and lighten up your skin and make being pale the new tan, then you might want to pick this up so that you can actually use your foundation still. Somebody messaged me and told me that uh, Victoria Beckham did a new um, a new interview where she says that she doesn't want to fake tan anymore either, and um, that she feels like it's just like you know just not the thing anymore. So that's cool. Maybe maybe it is really going to happen. Maybe we don't have to be so tanned. Maybe you guys were right. Okay. Also at Mac, I picked up the uh, 239 brush, which is just this tiny little flat white brush. Like so. Now this is just good for packing on color on the lid. I like it. And also, this 130 brush, which is really similar to the one... I don't know what it's called. It's like the 187, but smaller. The brush that I'm talking about. I know like a million of you are going to write it down in the comments. Um, I have it. Don't know the number of it, but it's that one has like longer white bristles and this one's just a little bit more stumpy. So yeah, I, and I heard this one's really good for blending and foundation, so I wanted to pick it up and try it out. So this is the 130. Um, New Fix Plus, I needed to pick this up. I also picked up a new cheek stain, or cream color base I should say, and this is called uh, Virgin Isles, or Virgin Isle. And it's in a really gorgeous color. I have this on underneath my, underneath right now. Looks like this. It looks really bright. But you want to make sure you blend that out on your skin. So if you just put it on, it would be like that. But you really want to buff that in and not use too much. A good thing to do is put it on the back of your hand and then apply it on a brush and then apply it to your face. That would be a good way to go. You can also just put it on the center of your forehead and rub it in really good and then you have that really bright pink forehead that's the new thing. You heard it here first. I also got um, two new Dazzle, I think these are Dazzle glasses, or yeah, Dazzle glass creams. In Soft Dazzle, these are so pretty, look how pretty this is, Soft Dazzle, I 
Can you see that? So nice. And lightly prancing. It's like a name of Santa's little helper. That's the lighter one. So yeah, that's what I have been hoarding over here. Um, is this the right one? Lightly prancing? Yeah. So that's it. That's what I've been what I've been doing. I've been doing a bunch of Christmas shopping and um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, next up I'm going to do uh, the Jill's tag and then I'm going to do the eye look. I did it but I forgot a whole bunch of steps because it was so early in the morning so I'm going to redo it and upload it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Love you and I hope you're having a great day. Bye.